Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to go over how to split and join strings using the string R library in R. We're going to load in the full tidy verse, which includes string R. And to do a string split in string R, you just use the stir underscore split function. You pass in whatever string you're trying to split. We'll just split this string here, split me. And then you enter a pattern, which indicates where you want to split the string. In this case, we're just going to split on any spaces. So it should separate this into two different words. So when we run that, we can see that it was successfully split into the two different parts. And if this was a longer string or a vector of strings, it would do the splitting operation on each part. Now you can also join strings, which is essentially the inverse of this operation. You can do that with the stir underscore C function. So it's essentially like the base RC that concatenates things together. So to do that, you can pass in as many different strings as you'd like and then give a separator to separate them by. In this case, we're going to join join and me with an underscore. And you can also do the same thing on vectors. So if you passed in, for instance, two vectors, each one would be joined element wise. So in this case, join will be joined with me and vectors will be joined to two. So let's run those. And the stir underscore C function also lets you take a vector of different character strings and collapse them into a single string. So we'll show how to do that. You just pass in the vector with all the different character strings you want to turn into a single string. And then you specify collapse equals and a separator. So in this case, we're going to combine all these together into one string and we're gonna separate them by spaces. We could leave this blank or we could put something else in there, but space is generally a reasonable thing to do to make actual readable sentences. So we'll run that, and we can see we made one string now. Turn me into a string. Now we're just going to cover one final convenience function. Sometimes you might have character data that has some NA values in it, and an NA value is not a character string. It's its own thing. So if you want to convert any NA values in a string variable into an actual character, but still know that it's NA, you can convert actual NAs into their string representation, which should just be a quoted NA with this str replace NA function in the string R library. So when we run this, we'll convert this middle value NA into the string version of it by running that. And that concludes this lesson on joining and splitting strings in the string R package. In the next lesson, we'll go over string sorting. So see you next time.